Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So tonight I thought I'd do a quick video on my little fire kit that I carry when I go on bushcraft trips. Depending on what I want to do and usually if I decide to practice some primitive fire, which I'm struggling with still, I'd add some other items as well. So I'm going to break it down, show you what I carry inside my little fire kit. And then yeah, maybe you guys have some suggestions that I can add to it. So let's quickly jump into the kit. So in my fire kit, I've got a couple of items. This is just some old man's beard. I've had this for quite a while. Actually, I picked this while hiking one day. So that it's pretty dry already. A big lighter. Just a cheap little container. Inside here I've got some matches. It's waterproof so it would stay dry. It does have a compass on. I don't know how accurate this is in a very very crappy whistle the, as a container it works fine just a little candle my charcloft tin a magnesium bar my ferrocerium rod just got a bullet casing at the back here to act as a little handle then a piece of old file that I cut down to work as a striker so this is my flint and steel I don't have any flint in the area so we, but we do have quite a bit of quartz I hope I'm pronouncing that right so they don't throw spark as well but it works I've been able to get a couple of fires started this way before actually I've got a bunch of pieces that's it's, this was all part of a bigger rock that sort of broke apart another little container now in here I've got fire lighters this works really well some old jeans for use to make so this chocolate. is the kit that I generally carry along with me now when I feel like trying my hand at the bow drill I usually add some other items now Let's quickly run through that set and then I'll show you what I use. So when I want to practice the, my bro drilling, which I'm terrible at, I'm still learning, these are the items that I usually take along. This is just a limpet shell that I use as my bearing block. The only thing with the limpet shells is they get extremely hot. So always good to wear a pair of gloves, otherwise you won't be able to hold this in your hand. Then I've got my bow. Nothing fancy. A little spindle. And then two boards. Then just some pouches with some tendon. So this is just a leather pouch that I made. This is from Buffalo Leather. So it's just a wooden toggle. And it's got some old man's beard in as well. And then another little pouch. This is one of my first tries. It did not come out all that well. And this is old piece of. This is actually a piece of rug made from springbok. Some more tinder. Yeah. So that is my little primitive fire kit. Obviously, that goes along with that. If I go to the shelter, I'm. Um, uh, like I said, I haven't been able to get a fire going with a kit with my bow drill yet. So if you all have any tips, I'd appreciate it. This is just the fire kit that I use, my primitive, plus the just the general fire kit that I carry when I go out bushcrafting. I hope you all enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one.